guys, we're in a secluded little cove here in the northernmost reaches of Lake Ray Roberts. And what I do from time to time when I have time is try to find new places to fish. And I have never been here before in this cove. And it is a long way off the grid. It's very hard to get to because of all the trees you have to come through to get here. And the water's fairly high on Lake Ray Roberts, so that made it a little bit easier. Um, consider this the Texas Fly Fishing Report for the first week of June. Unfortunately, I can only talk in micro terms about this part of Texas, north central Texas, Lake Ray Roberts, that area. Basically, uh, the, the uh, lakes and prairies section of TPWD scroll, prairies and lakes. And uh, so that's about all I can talk about because the weather's been really questionable for the last week. I got blown out last week during the early part. And now I find myself getting ready to go down to the coast this week. So it's, uh, it's just wise for me to limit what I say to what I know. And uh, what I know is the lakes up here are still high from the rains we've had all month of, uh, well, all last month of May. And so they're still drawing those down. The dams are open. Um, but that means that a lot of the vegetation, like over at BC, might see back in here. The water's way up in there, and so are the carp. Of course, carp is my main thing. I guide for carp. You can find out more at www.texasflycaster.com. But anyway, I just wanted to come someplace I've never been before, because I know I can go right back to my regular flats, and start pulling, and start sticking carp right away. But that's not my idea of what to do during times like this, and times when uh, there's no pressure on me. So and most of us don't have a lot of pressure on right now due to the virus and all the other problems of the world. So um, it's a good time to go try places you've never been before. So I'm gonna leave the rest of the state out. Check that scroll at the end of this. Make sure you check in with me. I won't have a report probably for a couple of weeks because I'm going to the coast and that, that usually takes a lot of time to roll up and get there and it takes a lot of time to fix everything that gets broken and, and get all the uh, salt off out from between my toes and all that. So it'll be a while before you see a next Texas Fly Fishing Report. Um, chances are I'll run you a scroll and uh, just leave it at that. Also, I've started a new series called Fly Fishing Black Ops and that's, that's me delving into conventional fishing gear um, and spinning rods and tackle and things that you use a lot when you're in places that are, have adverse conditions like the Texas Gulf Coast, which is where I'm going. So there might be some footage of that in the future. I hope to have time to uh, actually um, enjoy um, the idea of catching fish on video and not just continually having to pound it out trying to find fish on the Texas Gulf Coast. It's When you have to hunt, you can just pretty much count out um, any photos or video because it's all about the hunting and finding these guys. So maybe we'll get lucky this time. I'd like to think we will. Uh, special thanks to my friend who is uh, hosting, that would be CK, we'll just call him CK, he likes to be anonymous. And uh, please watch a scroll at the end of this, enjoy your first month, first week of June, and we and check out the Black Ops series if you're, if you're wanting to learn like I am about conventional fishing gear, I don't know anything about it, so I'm learning as I go. And it's just another, uh, another thing you can find on the Texas Flycaster website. Also, don't forget to hit me on Instagram. You can always text me at 940-380-0408. Guys, thanks for watching. Have a great week. Stay safe. Stay, stay safe all the way around. And we'll see you in a couple weeks. If, uh, and maybe sooner, but probably a couple weeks. Thanks for watching.